But Little Belle's not the only Dingle wild child in the village. Teenage mechanic Debbie is a far cry from the mild-mannered girl we first saw in Aberdale in 2002. Debbie Jones, like talking about different persons, isn't it? I think she was quite shy, but she still had like that kind of. She was still quite cheeky and a little bit cocky, but not too much. Great, <clears throat> just my size. She was a typical teenager in a lot of ways, and then the Dingle family happened to her. Hey! Get off the seat! There's your daddy for you. Poor Debbie was doomed from day one, having parents such as Charity and Kane. I'm only being orphan and have animals for mum and dad. And that's what you are, animals! It can't do any child any good when you see parents rowing as constant as Charity and Kane did, and to be around that constantly. How can you see sense? Still nothing but a gold digging tart! Tart! She's like a dingle, but she's a, she's a selfish dingle. I was watching that! You're going to school? Why? Hello, Debbie's the new generation of am I bothered and just looking for, for what she can get out of life. Life stinks, eh? Welcome to my world. And Debbie's life got even more complicated when her friendship with the vicar's niece, Jasmine, grew into something more serious. You've been crying? No. A lesbian storyline is quite likely to get people that might not usually tune into the show to watch the show. But I've messed everything else in my life. There's no way I want to blow it with you. My first thoughts were great, you know, brilliant storyline. But I had to go home and explain it to, like, my mum and my grandma. I think my grandma was a bit shocked. <laughs> what are you having, girlfriend? <laughs> like mother, like daughter, eh? She used to shop round the corner and all when it suited her. The first kiss was to get back at Kane um, in the middle of the cafe and to make a show, and it was Debbie trying to get attention, so she just grabbed hold of me and kissed me. On-screen kisses, oh. When I get one in my scripts, I'm like, no, not another one, because I seem to just kiss people, everybody, every character that comes in, Debbie will get with them. The second kiss, we wanted to do it very carefully because it is a very sensitive matter. Prefer the cricket pavilion. Well, this is better because nobody ever comes here. It wasn't like they just have this passionate affair or anything like that. It was more to do with a confusion between them. So we, we tried to make it really kind of sensitive and, and a bit hesitant. I got a lot of letters from teenage girls, which was nice because that's the reason you do it and to think that somebody has, has watched those scenes and, and been able to relate or it's helped them in some way in their life is fantastic. But Debbie's world was shattered when her dad, Kane, stole Jasmine away. He knew how close they were and you know, he used Jasmine to get at Debbie, and that's what, what that's exactly what the storyline was. It was all to get back at Debbie. Yeah, well, this is real life and not make-believe, Debbie. <laughs> Maybe it's about time you grew up and realised that. There has been a certain amount of cousin-on-cousin -cousin action in, <laughs> in the Dingle clan. What kind of stock is that to breed from? Kissing Cutler makes me feel sick as well. I mean, I could not think of anything worse than kissing a cousin. Hey, it's our chastity! <laughs> you can still kiss her. She's my cousin! Charity's just about dingled everybody, I think. Oh, isn't that awful? Ken and Charity, like knives. Oh, yeah, Charity and Marlon, yeah, on the sly, they had a little one night at. <laughs> oh, Mengi. Oh, how foul. Charity and chastity. No, no, no. Sorry, that was in my mind. He's not, not Eli and chastity. Has he? Come here. Oh, oh Eli's been with Debbie. Oh, my God, there's a lot more you think about. Actually, it's pretty repulsive. Everybody's had everybody. Oh, keep it in the family. Oh! I thought it was illegal, but obviously not in the dingle world. Whoa. Family tree, dingles. Who's your cousin, who's your brother? It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> And when Charity left the show in 2005, this was one scene where the tears weren't just for the camera. Don't put my bags in, Mum, I'm not coming. That farewell between Debbie and Charity was probably the most emotional thing because I was saying goodbye to Charlie. Come with me, man. I can't. I want to stay here. Please. Don't 
Debbie, I need you, please. We were both really crying and it was it was all very wet and oh, soppy, dear. but we didn't care. We just thought, well, we may as well use our emotion and really go for it. Cause I feel that when I'm with you, it's all So that's it for our roundup of a soap family in need of rounding up. Well, no one said they were perfect. <coughs> but if the writers of Emmerdale could create a new fantasy dingle to add to the next generation, I wonder what they'd be. If we were to have a fantasy dingle, it'd be somebody that was posh and rich and fabulous. Have you forgotten that you're supposed to be in work today? Not the obvious scruffy, drunk minger.